Hey team, Vaughn here again from Longevity Plus, guiding you towards longevity and an active life. How do I get my mojo back? Part three. What exercises can I do to get the little guy back into action? This video is gonna cover research-based exercises that are proven to improve your mojo. There's gonna be a detailed explanation of each exercise, videos to follow, how often, how many reps, etc. Or you could always just fast forward to the end. There's a screen, it's gonna have all the exercises on there. You can just screenshot that. There is no excuse not to get into action now. Remember, the goal of this channel is to clarify and simplify so you can take action now, remove the confusion, and get rid of that analysis paralysis. If you missed the first videos in this series, here's why deep diving into your mojo is so important. Almost 70% of men over the age of 50 suffer from some form of ED and 26% of men under the age of 40. That's crazy statistics. Also, attacking your mojo is going to have a direct impact on your longevity. Time to roll the intro. There's some low hanging fruit when it comes to improving your mojo. We've already covered healthy eating habits. Now we're going to be covering sex exercises. But how does exercise impact your mojo? And more specifically, improving the ability to make it bigger for longer. It got bigger and bigger. It's a fairly simple concept. Certain exercises can improve blood flow down where you need it and keep it there longer. Plus, there are certain exercises that are proven to increase our natural testosterone production. Yes, there are a lot of complex anatomical details. If you want to go deep into this, pun intended, I've added a link below. I've shared it before. You can check that out. However, this channel is to simplify so you can take action now. So get moving. Turn the slinky into a... There are also fantastic side effects from exercise that will also impact your mojo. Less stress, more energy, better sleep patterns, weight management, better body image and self-confidence. If your mojo is gone, exercise is a game changer. Let's get straight into these exercises. First off, we need to mobilize the hips. We need to strengthen the pelvic floor. We've got a squat, and we need to cardio. If you're impatient and you just want to get started now, just go to the end of the video, screenshot the workout and get started. But if you're smart and you want to know why they work and how to do them correctly, then stay tuned. Sexercise number one, mobilize your hips. Why? If you want to assume the position, you've got to be mobile down there. So we've got to get some hip action going on. Plus, it's going to help improve blood circulation everywhere. For the more detailed exercise descriptions, I'm going to use the voiceover one. This is a level one hip mobility exercise. You can use a moderate to heavy dumbbell or kettlebell, or even just hold the leg of a table. This is really to help you balance it first, and then once you're feeling more comfortable, you can pull on the leg of the table or pull on the kettlebell or dumbbell to help you get deeper into the squat position. Find your range of motion, try to hold that for 10 seconds, build that up to 60 seconds over time. You really need to be repeating this every day, twice a day if you can. Remember the goal here is to get extra hip mobility, so try to work on getting as deep as you can over time. Sexercise number two, strengthening your pelvic floor. Why? These muscles have a direct impact on one, maintaining your, and two, controlling your. This is a very underrated exercise. It's also nearly always done incorrectly. Let's take a closer look. Support your head on a yoga block or a thick book. This is gonna to help to relax your neck so that you can really focus on the pelvic floor. And make sure to bend your knees, keep your feet flat on the floor. Take a deep breath in. 
It's okay to arch your back while you do that. Then slowly release the breath over an eight to 10 second count. Make sure you try to push as much air out of your lungs as possible. During this long out breath, you need to push your lower back into the floor while simultaneously squeezing your core and your pelvic floor. Now your pelvic floor muscles are those ones you squeeze when you want to stop going for a pee or going for a poop. Now the reason this exercise is very underrated is because that the most people get that part wrong. To assure the effectiveness of this exercise, you've got to squeeze your pelvic floor muscles. You've got to squeeze them as hard as you can during that 10 second out breath. For a while, you may not feel that you're squeezing the pelvic floor very hard at all, but over time, you're gonna start feeling this intense burn feeling running down from the lower abdominal area deep into your groin. When you nail that feeling, you're on your way to a stronger and longer lasting mojo, baby, yeah! Do 10 repetitions per set, rest for 30 seconds, and repeat for a total of three sets. Sex exercise number three, the squat. Why? The basic squat is possibly the best lower body exercise to add thrust and drive back into your life. It's going to increase blood circulation everywhere. It's also going to help with testosterone production. Now that's a bigger topic for another day, but please feel free to Google that. However, if you're searching for your mojo, you know that testosterone is key, right? The other benefits from the squat is increased strength, increased stamina, increased endurance. It's a win-win-win right there. And win-win-win. There are many squat variations. If you're having trouble with your mojo, I'm going to assume though that you're not very active at the moment. As active people tend to be very active down there as well, usually. We're going to start with some very basic squat variations. Once you've mastered these, you can always progress on from there. Let's take a look. If you fall into the not very active category, we're going to start with the basic wall sit. Make sure your upper legs are parallel to the floor. If you can't get that low, don't worry, just keep working on your mobility from exercise number one. Your goal over time is to do three sets with a 30 to 40 second hold. You can then move on to the air squat variation. Same rules apply, we want to get those legs to parallel the goal is to get three sets of 30 to 40 seconds. Make sure you keep your back nice and flat. If it does start to round, it is time to take a rest. And by the way, those rest periods between sets should be 30 seconds. Once you master these air squats, it's time to move to the next level. We're gonna cover those exercises in the next video. It's exercise number four. Four. Three, pick up a three, my lord. Cardio. Yep, that word, cardio. Why? ED is often linked to poor cardiovascular health. Walking, light jogging or swimming is going to improve blood circulation everywhere in the body, including the genitals. You need to start slow. Like the squat, I'm assuming at the moment that you're not very active. If you go full bore into this one, you're going to come away with muscle pains and aches, sore knees, sore hips, maybe pull a calf, you're not going to be able to stay regular on these exercises. Brisk walking is the best place to start. You'll be able to do it without the aches and pains. You'll be able to keep it regular and form a habit. Start with 10 to 15 minutes of brisk walking three times per week. Every week, try to add maybe three to five minutes to that. Eventually, you'll be able to build that up to 30 minutes three times per week. Sound too simple? It is simple. It's not meant to be complex and confusing. Create that habit, get moving. The great thing about training to improve your mojo is these exercises are also linked very closely to longevity and being able to lead an active life. In an upcoming video, we're gonna look at progressions to these exercises. So please make sure you subscribe, press the bell icon so you'll always get notified when a new video is released. If it's already done, I'll have it in the description below. You can click that link and go straight to it now. Thanks again for watching, everybody. Stay tuned for the tip of the week.